Hello, my name is Dr. Michelle Maidenberg. I don't know about you, but I woke up this morning feeling, you know, very unsettled. Um, and I know we all have our moments, especially during this challenging time. But for me, you know, just hearing last night after over 2,000 people died, which was the most in one day, it really shook me. Um, and then after hearing that, you know, that they're looking to uh, open up the, res the restrictions, you know, hopefully by May 1st, that shook me even more. Um, and a lot of unsettling feelings are coming up for me. So it's been a little bit of a rough day, I'm gonna say. And it's taking a lot more effort to be mindful and grounded today. So I don't know if you're feeling the same way I am, but I'll explain why that's unsettling for me and you know, maybe you could relate to it or maybe it's unsettling for other reasons. But I really think about if we do it prematurely, of course, my mind goes to worry, you know, and I think about, you know, particularly my children going back to school. And, you know, for kids, it's interesting what, I've, what I'm finding is they're, they're aware that they themselves tend to be asymptomatic and won't get sick because that's been told to them over and over again so that they don't worry. Um, but they also are aware that being asymptomatic that they can infect others. And that's been a considerable worry for them. Uh, if they infect others, are they gonna put other people at risk or harm? And that's a, you know, it's been a, a tremendous worry for them. You know, and we, you know, when we think about kids, we try to understand, you know, why they worry, what they worry about. And it really makes sense because kids go to the place where they typically will, you know, self-blame. And, you know, an example of that, which we know is in divorce, you know, kids typically will take responsibility and ask themselves, what could I have done? Or uh, did I cause it in any way? Um, and it's a, it, it's, it's a considerable challenge, you know, for kids to get some understanding other than focusing it on themselves. And developmentally, we understand that. And also, if you think about it, we're always fishing whenever something happens to make some meaning out of it. We need answers. And why? Because we're feeling unsettled. We wanna get grounded. We wanna feel safe. We wanna make sure it never ever happens again. And the only way that our mind knows how to resolve all of that is to have fundamental answers. So I really worry about, you know, my kids, I worry about, um, of course, just thinking about over 2,000 people that are currently suffering. Um, and like I said, it's not just those who are infected and are sick and their loved ones who can't see them and are isolated from them, but it's also people who blame themselves, you know, for in, you know, getting infected or infecting others. So there's, there's just so many feelings that come up. And you know, I'm feeling a little bit helpless at the moment. You know, like there's such mixed messages in the media. You know, we need to be doing this for a prolonged period of time. No, we're gonna, you know, open this up in the next month or so. Um, so it, it's really, again, making me feel very unsettled in my body and I'm noticing it more and more. Um, you know, I talked about, I think last week about kind of finding your inner superhero and I mentioned using my hats you know so I try to really incorporate or think about what's gonna make me feel vibrant you know for the day and today um, I put sparkles on my eyes <laughs> I really needed I guess a glimmer of hope and hopefulness and I felt like sparkles um, would do that for me so I tried to connect in that way and it's you know, it's helping me, but again, I'm not pretty helpless state at the moment. So the, um, you know, and it, it, it kind of compels us into that when we feel unsafe into that kind of parasympathetic nervous system and our fear response, you know, which is tends to be kind of the fight, flight or freeze. And, uh, you know, we're fighting and I'm in that fight space, you know, where 
um, I'm feeling, you know, frustrated and angry and, you know, I want, you know, I want something to be done so that like we could all feel safe, feeling very frustrated. Um, so again, all of those feelings are very typical. And I know just speaking to people today, it's definitely come up from many, many people. So I know I'm not alone. And that always helps to feel like we're part of a bigger, you know, community, a broader community that understands us and that we can understand as well. So we're gonna do a guided meditation. I feel like I really need to tap into kind of my inner core. Um, and this morning I did my TM, which is Transcendental Meditation. And as chatty as my mind was, I was really delighted because it was able to settle. And the reason for that is because of the practice. My mind, you know, knows how to settle because it's because I practice it. So when I need it, it knows when to call upon opportunities for it to settle. So I was really happy about that. So if you could sit up straight and if you feel comfortable enough, of course, you could close your eyes. And I want you to plant your feet on the floor and notice the ground beneath you. Notice the feeling in your feet and security of being able to feel the floor. Really feel grounded in that security, in that safe space, in that groundedness. And recognize that you are here in the present moment. Your body is slowly relaxing in your seat. Now imagine yourself as a leaf, slowly flowing down a river, ebbing and flowing with the current below you. And imagine the flow of the water and the sound of the water, the crackling of the water and the waves crashing, that very peaceful, calm sound. And your body moves tenderly in the direction of the current you feel whisked away and pick up speed as the current grows stronger. It feels so freeing and you notice the abundance of energy and movement that surrounds and provides you with comfort and momentum. So feel that energy deep within your body and that movement. Notice the different leaves you pass on your journey Appreciate all the beauty and robust colors, the essence of each, appreciating each for its own uniqueness. Notice the elements you share with them, the oneness, universality, and connection that you feel. Sit with all of your varying thoughts and feelings as you continue to steadily flow down the river and feel the current slowly whisking you very gingerly down the river, your body ebbing and flowing and feeling relaxed and feeling one with the water. And the water is a temperature that soothes and calms you. Feel the flow and take in the sensations as you embrace, embrace nature and all that you have to offer this world. Take a deep breath. Notice the vast world and all that it has to offer you. Notice that you are who you are with all of your beauty and graciousness. You can have it all and know how to make it happen for yourself. You take the journey in the direction that you choose. You have the power to go where you want to and be all that you choose to be. You and only you hold the power. Go in the direction of your heart and toward being the best that you can be. When I count to three and when you're ready, you can open your eyes. One, two, and three. Again, I wish you and your family safety and health. Thank you.